As many Canadians make the push to live as environmentally friendly as possible, can that movement continue after death? We're here at the first cemetery in Edmonton to offer green burials. From Boulder that uh, all the names and dates are going to be going on. Once this section of the Rose Hill Cemetery fills up, it'll look quite a bit different from nearby plots. It's going to be very natural. It's going to have grass and weeds and trees and everything like that. So, like I said, it's going to look almost like a meadow. A traditional burial has a headstone, a casket, sometimes cement liners, and then the chemicals like formaldehyde used for embalming, all of which can last for decades, having a long-lasting environmental impact. Even with cremation, the, the carbon footprint left behind is really, really tremendous, actually. Rose Hill has been working to offer this eco option for over 15 years, as people called with queries, finally opening up 500 plots for green burials this week. They join a handful of other providers across Canada offering burials without chemicals and only biodegradable caskets. Elsewhere, Washington State is set to be the first to legalize human composting. And a cemetery in Granby, Quebec, was the first in Canada to offer biodegradable urns that allow trees to grow from your ashes. For this cemetery in Edmonton, they recommend you talk to your family if you want a green funeral, because the burial needs to happen a lot quicker, as there's no chemicals used. Something like this, it is about as green as you're going to get. It's just a, a plot is dug, the person is placed in there, and we move on. In Edmonton, Carly Robinson, City News.